Peyton. Hey, Sheba, we are going to be watching for storms for your Friday. You got a few out there this morning. Even more is expected as we go into this afternoon. And then things are improving for the weekend. Here's what today's rain chances look like. Spotty storms around right now and then more widespread storms as we go into the afternoon and early evening hours. So as we go out to dinner tonight or you're getting off work, Keep an eye on the weather. Check in on Channel 4, our app. Get it. Follow radar because we are expecting some storms and a few could be on the strong side today. Here's what it looks like this morning. We are tracking some storms popping up here in the metro. I've seen some lightning on our tower cam looking off towards West Wego, Luling, Booty, River Ridge, uh, Harahan getting some downpours, but the worst of it right there, right on the parish line of St. Charles and Jefferson and drifting down towards the south. Also a little downpour closer out towards the east. That is trying to really not move all that much. Uh, at all. It's just kind of sitting there, but we're parked in between here in the city, so not a lot going on in New Orleans. We have could change this morning, though. A few spotty storms as well down in Lafouche and Towerbone and all the way down into Plaquemines. None of this is severe, but there is some rumbles of thunder. Now, the interesting part this afternoon and evening, what we're going to be watching is this right here. This complex of storms, it's coming together and it's going to combine, and we call this an MCS, a mesoscale convective system. This is going to race across the state and it will get into our region later on this afternoon into this evening. Here's a model run showing you kind of how it's going to play out later on today. Pop up storms through this morning, a few pop up storms early afternoon, but then as we get into the two, three, four o'clock, here comes that complex of storms blowing on in. Notice some of these will be on the strong side. This will be during the hottest part of the day. They will have plenty of fuel to work with, and as they blow on through, they could produce some damaging wind gusts and some other uh, threats as well. Notice by seven, eight o'clock, the worst of it is winding down. So once again, afternoon into the early evening. Severe weather threat. Most of us are under a level two, but we've now included a level three. This is just for the farther north shore and into Mississippi. This is where the greatest potential to see the damaging winds exist, but everyone could see some strong winds. Some hail is possible. We saw some hail yesterday and even an isolated tornado or two cannot be ruled out. So just stay weather aware this afternoon. That's the main messaging here. Is everyone going to see crazy weather? No, but there is a chance. So as we go through the daytime and even into the evening, check in. Once again, get the app, follow radar and the updates there. The great news is things do improve this weekend. If you're going to be out Saturday, hot and humid, a few storms are possible on Saturday. Look at Sunday, though. We begin to dry out a little hotter, and this is going to be the trend as we go into next week. Big ridge of high pressure. It weakened today and yesterday. Well, it's restrengthening back Saturday and Sunday, which means rain chances are going to go back down and temperatures are going to stay pretty steady, actually go up a little bit. With rain around today, I think we get up to about 90, still hot, but not as hot as we have been. Notice that mid 90s are going to return as we go into next week with heat index values well into the triple digits and just not a whole lot of rain into next week either.